Hi guys, it's Beverly. I have to show you some stuff from my Crochet Club members. I've been um, wanting to showcase some of their items. Uh, I have some of these items are going to be donated and some of them are in my Etsy store. And I've sold a couple items for two of the ladies. And I just wanted to showcase my Crochet Club um, buddies, <laughs> some of the items that they've made. Um, one of the ones that I might have showed you before was these beautiful bunny sweaters. Now this one is kind of light blue, it's light blue, but the light is coming out a little different color and you can see she has the little little black eyes and those are sewn on little buttons and then she has a little bow and there's two bunnies on the front and then the buttons on the front and then the bunnies in the back look at those bunnies and then she has uh, crocheted little tails for the bunnies and the little sleeve and the neck and this is a knitted sweater it's absolutely gorgeous and this was made by Sue and then in this little bag I have two more I sold one for her right before Easter it was a pink one. Here's a purple one. So next to this one you can truly see that it's purple. And again, she's used buttons that she sewed on. But I'm trying to get the glare off of it. It has white little white little eyes. And then there's a bow. Look at that. So precious and then on the back there's the back bunny see there you can truly see it's purple and the crocheted tail and then the little waistband oh just so beautiful and finally we have a teal colored one I guess you would say or aqua And she knitted it. Oh, see, it's coming out blue. So let's see if we can get it. My camera does not. No, nope, my camera does not like teal. Okay, so this one has white little buttons because this is definitely a light aqua color or teal. And then, of course, we have the little button bunny uh, tail. And see, no matter what color I put it against teal on my camera always comes out but it's just on my cell phone yeah see way back here <laughs> but it's a teal color and again the three are just so precious and they're for sale in my Etsy store okay the next thing I wanted to show you now I am showcased these before these are stitch markers from my friends, and the, I crocheted these dish towels, so I'm not going to show you all those, but I just wanted to showcase some stitch markers, and they're in my Etsy shop. And then these are from my other friend, and these are all on lobster cloth class. So anyway, so I wanted to show those, and then... Something new you guys have not seen. My friend Suzanne found that she had made this cowl. I'm going to insert some pictures with her wearing it in the video. But my friend Suzanne, and she's going to say, You don't know how to wear it. I can just hear, hear her. But you put it on like this. <laughs> and this part goes down like this and then you have the buttons 
and you kind of spread it out and you have the buttons like so and then you unbutton it so you can wear it two ways and she has her little buttonholes in here there we go and there you go and so then you can spread it on your shoulders a little and then it comes out like this so I'm going to insert some pictures of Suzanne wearing it and the back you can see the back but see right now I've got the back a little but it's so soft you guys I don't even know what yarn she used with this it's acrylic I don't know what stitch she used but it's got a gold thread running through the yarn and this is the color when I hold it like this it kind of you know makes it look like sage but it's this color and um, she she doesn't know where she got this pattern and see you make it like a cowl and then you just keep going and then you kind of split it so if you guys know what pattern this is you can let us know and so isn't that cool from Suzanne and that'll be my Etsy shop now I have some newbie crocheters and I'm teaching them different things and I'm going to be doing a newbie uh, tutorial series because if you have learned how to do the chain, the slip stitch, the single crochet, the half double crochet, the double crochet, now what? You know? So what I like to do is when I started out these new girls crocheting, I said, I want them to start with a hat. I didn't want them to start with just a dishcloth. I wanted them to start with a hat because then they would have something and they're in our crochet girl group <laughs> that they could donate right away. Sure, they could donate a dishcloth, but I wanted them to learn how to do the chain the double crochet, the slip stitch, and how to tie in their ends. And so I started them out with the hat. And they learned how to crochet in the round. And they did a hat. Well, then they graduated. <laughs> and then they made a granny square. Which I'm going to talk a little bit more about that in another video or at the end of this video they made granny squares and if you watched my other videos everyone in the club made two granny squares and we put them all together in a blanket so they were ready because they learned a double crochet and they learned to slip and a chain to make a granny square but I don't want my newbies to get stuck and that's going to be more in my newbie series the next thing I showed them was how to make um, the granny square large blanket and then the next thing I showed them how to do was corner to corner so one of the newbie crocheters Leanne hi Leanne I'm, I know she watches my videos she made this corner to corner shawl then she learned and saw how to make a pom-pom and she wanted it to have a tie so this is the tie this is the slip stitch tie that we made and we and she I swear she made these she did this and she made these pom-poms and she taught some people how to make these pom-poms and she's a newbie so she has two pom poms, and I'm a, I'm a big girl, so I'm not, I don't want to really try it on. But you can see, okay, that's the bottom, and so then here you go, and then you have your beautiful little ties, and it's just so cute. And now she's inspired to make pom poms for the top of the hat, so we're gonna do that. 
but isn't this precious now again the colors are not coming up the best um it's again it's a greenish color it's not blue and then this is the lighter um green but it's not shockingly green it's not christmas green but i wanted to showcase some of the items that this one's that shawl is going to be a donated item and i just wanted to bring in give them some recognition on some of the things that they've made and maybe it'll give you some ideas too so thanks guys for watching bye